New details this afternoon after a tragic discovery in Fort Lauderdale over the weekend. The bodies of a father and his four year old son found inside an apartment. The family says it was a murder suicide and the little boy's mother said she tried everything but that the system failed her son. CBS 4's Ted Scott is live in Fort Lauderdale with the new details. Ted. Yeah, Maribel, certainly a tragic one. It was practically right up to the time that that child was killed that the mother had been filing a flurry of court uh, proceedings and court uh, documents asking for both protection and to get her child back from his father. A horrifying discovery in a condo building right next to the Broward Courthouse. Four-year-old Grayson Kessler was found dead along with his father, John Stacy. We are not showing the child's picture at the request of the family. Grayson's mother, Allison, and the family calls this a murder-suicide. In a statement, they said, Grayson's mother, Allison Kessler, did everything she could to keep her child safe from harm. We feel that the system failed us at every level. The statement goes on to say she reported Stacy's bizarre, threatening behavior. Her attorney sent us court documents. On May 18th, she filed for an injunction. She told the court Stacy sent numerous threatening text messages, including this one saying, you deserve to have your head separated from your body and deserve to die but I am not the violent type. God will deal with you. She goes on to say, his behavior is erratic and escalating, and I fear for my life, my boyfriend's life, and most of all, my child. He is unstable mentally. I am requesting a permanent restraining order against Mr. Stacy. On the 19th, it was denied, the court saying petitioner has failed to allege any overt acts by respondent, which would constitute domestic violence under Florida statute. The day of the death, she requested an emergency pickup. The mom's attorney told the court the father is wrongfully detaining the minor child. The mother is justifiably concerned the minor child may be injured in the father's care. And subsequently, the family tells us the father killed the child and then himself. Meanwhile, that family has a GoFundMe page set up to help out with expenses. If you'd like to help out, just go to our website, cbsmiami.com. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News. Just heartbreaking, Ted. Thank you.